Alright, this is part three in the study of the hyperbola. Alright, let's try let's try another one. Alright, so what's the uh, what's the center? Alright, well it's h is two and k is negative three. So two comma negative three. So if I'm gonna have a horizontal or a vertical transverse axis. Alright, it's gonna be vertical because you have y squared minus x squared. So the vertices would be, well, if it's, if it's a vertical transverse axis, then we want to add this, this a value, which is 6. Remember, this is a squared, so a would be 6. We want to add that to the y part of your center. Right? So that would be 2, comma, negative 3 plus 6 would be 3. And then 2, and then negative 3 minus 6 would be negative 9. Right? Let's go off and sketch this real quick, and then we'll deal with the foci. All right, so the center is 2, negative 3. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Plot a point. Then from the center, go right and left, whatever you need to, and up and down, whatever you need to. Well, since this is a... The way I like to do it is since 6 is under the y, then we're going to go up or down 6, and since b in this case is 4, and since that's under the x, then we're going to go right and left, 4. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, plot a point. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, plot a point. All right, that's the, those are the b's, and then up and down 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would put us there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would put us there. All right? And then make your rectangle. It'll look better when you're on graph paper because you'll actually have the grids. All right? And then do your asymptotes. And the asymptotes always go from corner to corner they go, and they go through the center. And again, if we needed to find the equations for the asymptotes, we could just by taking the two points in the corners and go and find the equation of the line. All right, so again, horizontal or vertical transverse axis. All right, vertical. So they're going to open up or down. So then this spot here is your vertex. So... Doom. All right, now there's your graph of the hyperbola. All right, so let's find the foci. So find C. So C squared equals 36 plus 16, which equals 52. So C is equal to the square root of 52. So then the foci would be, now we're adding from the center, we're adding to the Y parts, right? So we're going to have 2 and negative 3 plus the square root of 52 and 2 and negative 3 minus the square root of 52. And that's where the two foci would be located. Alright, everything going alright? Let's try uh, let's try one where it's not already written in standard form. Okay? Alright, so We'd like to write it in standard form, so just like we did with the ellipse, we're going to need to complete the square. We're going to need to complete the square on the y's and on the x's. So let's get the y's together first. So we have 9y squared minus 18y minus 4x squared plus 24x, and we're going to take the constant term and move it over to the other side. Then, again, we need that coefficient of the squared term here to be a 1, so we're going to factor that 9 out. We're going to have y squared minus 2y. <clears throat> and then we're going to factor... Now we're not factoring a 4 out, we're really factoring a negative 4 out of these two terms here. So that's going to leave behind an x squared. And then negative 4 factored out of, an, of a positive 24 is going to leave you a negative 6x. Everybody see that? If you distribute this negative 4 back through, you've got to get the line above it. So this is where, an error, this is where a common error is made, so just be careful of the, of the sign there. All right, so then what do we need to add to the y, in the parentheses here, to the y's in order to complete the square? Well, 1 half times 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so 1's what we're going to add. But we really didn't add a 1, right? We really added 9 to this side. 
Okay, and then here uh, we're going to add what inside? So one half times six is three. Three squared is nine, so plus nine. But we really didn't add nine either, did we? All right. So let's see. We added, we put the one in here, which means we really added nine to this side. So we have to add nine to the other side. All right, we put in a nine. We had a nine inside the parentheses here, which meant we really added nine times negative four, which is a negative 36. So we really added negative 36 to that side, which means we need to add a negative 36 to the right side. All right, then go do your factoring. So this goes to nine times y minus one squared minus four times x minus three squared is equal to 36. And then since we need a 1 over here on the right side, we're going to divide through by that 36. And we do that, that leaves y minus 1 squared over 4 minus x minus 3 squared over 9 equals 1. And we've written it in standard form. Now we can say, all right, the center is 3, 1. Right, because it's got a vertical transverse axis, because it's y squared minus x squared. So h is 3, k is 1. Uh, the vertices. The vertices. All right, so since it's got a, a vertical transverse axis, we're adding to the y part of the center. And we're going to add what to the y part of the center? The square root of 4, right? So that'd be 2. So we're going to go 3, and then 1 plus 2 would be 3, and then 3, and 1 minus 2 would be negative 1. All right, so foci. So to find the foci, we need to find what? All right, we need to find c. So c squared equals 4 plus 9, which is 13. So c is equal to the square root of 13. So the foci, then, would be... 3, comma, 1 plus the square root of 13, and 3, comma, 1 minus the square root of 13. And to graph it, you would go plot the center, and then you would go up and down two uh, points, and uh, right or left three points, plot those four points, dash in your rectangle, dash in your diagonals for the uh, asymptotes, and then make sure your hyperbola goes up and down because it's got a vertical transverse axis. All right, so that's it on the hyperbola. Uh, study well, and please let me know if you have any questions.